Joining me now, Tony Perkins, the president of the Family Research Council, Pastor Robert Jeffress, member of the Faith Advisory Council for Donald Trump, pastor at First Baptist Church in Dallas. Great to have you gentlemen with us. Let's, uh, Tony, let me turn to you first, if I may, and tell me where the evangelical vote is and where it's going to have its uh, uh, biggest influence. Well, Lou, it looks like the evangelical turnout, based on the exit polling, is going to be slightly higher than it was for Mitt Romney, which tells me that evangelicals were coming home despite the opposition from some evangelicals. Now, keep in mind that, that Donald Trump, unlike Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney had indifference from evangelicals. Donald Trump had some outright opposition right. from some. But when you... As he made his way through the campaign, consistently talking about the issues of religious liberty, of the Supreme Court, pro-life justices, picked Mike Pence as his running mate, he won a lot of them over. I mean, it was kind of like the, uh, you know, the members of uh, Friendship Baptist Number no. 2 being invited to homecoming at Friendship Baptist Number no. 1. They eventually came home for the homecoming. <laughs> well, Pastor, uh, your, your sense of where it's going to be most important. We're looking at North Carolina and Florida. How important is the evangelical uh, vote there? Florida, absolutely critical. I would say that uh, North Carolina is critical right. for, for him as well. Well, I got to talk to uh, Mr. Trump and Melania today, and he told me he's going to be focused on Florida and North Carolina. Good. He asked me how I felt like the evangelical vote was going to turn out for him. And this is what I said, Lou. I said, in the last debate, Mr. Trump, you made the strongest commitment to a conservative Supreme Court, and you also made the strongest defense of the pro-life position of any Republican nominee in history, including McCain, Romney, Reagan, or either of the Bushes. Wow. That's why evangelicals are turning out. And like Tony said, they're turning out more than they did for Romney. I think that's very encouraging. And, it, and let's be clear, it's, you have been very helpful in his effort to, to energize, to animate uh, evangelicals and, and, and Tony Perkins as well. Uh, as you have, uh, Tony, I guess I could put it, you came home. Uh, uh, and we've got a, a race uh, to call here for Donald Trump in South Carolina, even though the numbers are a little upside down there. Uh, he is uh, being declared the winner uh, because of the early uh, numbers. Uh, he is declared the winner by Fox News. That's just coming in, so we are projecting him as the winner uh, in uh, in South Carolina. So he's off to a pretty good start. Uh, Tony, your thoughts right now on, uh, let me ask you the same question that I did uh, Robert Jeffress, and that is, uh, where do you think, where do you think the evangelical vote can be most important, uh, most effective uh, for uh, Donald Trump? Well, I think it's some of these key swing states. I spent the last week, in fact, uh, I've had, we've had a, our FRC action has had a bus in North Carolina. We've gone to all 100 counties, speaking primarily to evangelical social conservatives, reminding them of what's at stake in this election. And, Lou, I think eventually what it came down to, look, there were issues, and you and I have discussed this over the last couple of months, that, that uh, gave evangelicals pause. But when you looked at the party right. platforms, which could not be clear in their contrast, you look at what Robert said. You have never had a presidential Republican nominee do what he did in that last debate, describing late-term abortion, saying that he was going to point pro-life justices. That, I believe, could, if he wins the White House, I think that could be the most important moment in presidential campaigns that he did that. Tony, thanks so much. Pastor Robert Jeffers, thank you. Thank you.